Hi, and welcome to today's edition of The Grape List. Today's guest is actually a fan recommendation. Thanks for the suggestion, greatly appreciated, and I look forward to seeing where this wine falls in The Grape List. This is a 2016 Pinot Nero brought to us by Hello Kitty Wines. I did not know they had their own wine brand. Things you learn. It is 11.5% alcohol and coming to us from the Lombardia region of Italy. So without further ado, let's dive into this. To the wine cam. So wine, what do you taste like? Wow. That is quite light and playful. Very fruity, it tastes like apples. It tastes like a green apple. But I know it's not green apple, it's probably like uh, white grapes, I guess. So, but yeah, this is, hmm. I did not have very high marks, I have to say, honestly, because I was like, this is a Hello Kitty wine. This is probably more ornamental than anything. It's just like selling a brand, Hello Kitty. Cool, cool, cool. Overall, I'm really liking the, the like, gr grapple? Grapple taste? Grape apple? Grapple. It's going to be a thing. I'm pretty sure the scientists are working on it. They're working on a lot of things, but, uh. Grapple's pretty in the, t it's in the top five. And it's gotta be like global warming, global hunger, global overpopulation, global, that trash island that's floating around there. And then also the grapple. It's in the top five. So, I mean, it's gonna be amazing when it comes out. Probably gonna be this year, 2020. Be on the lookout on your store shelves. The grapple, grape apple. It's gonna be so good. Especially when they wind it up. Oh my God. Grapple wine. Mm. While I refresh my glass, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Lombardia region. In addition to housing the capital of Italy, Milan, it's actually a huge agricultural area. Like the land is basically made for agriculture. It's got some uh, low hills every now and again in some areas, but for the most part, it's pretty flat, lending itself well to planting crops, raising animals. And when you're raising crops and animals and you're just sitting around enjoying the fruits of your labor, uh, maybe a couple apples, maybe a steak, maybe some chicken, you know, and you're just sitting there and you're going, what can I enjoy with this? What am I washing this down with? You'll go, ah, you know what goes well with this? Maybe a couple of these grapes. Let them sit around for a little bit. I'm going to enjoy this. Wine making goes great with this. And it's become a, a really big uh, wine making hub for Italy. The area actually makes a lot of Italy's sparkling wine. This is not sparkling, it is very still, but it's still very good. <laughs> it's still. It smells so fruity. It's, I've never smelled such a strong, strong apple taste on a wine. This is, I love apples, so this is just like, <sighs> you can't just have this wine by itself. A wine like this deserves a meal. Isn't that the Italian way? You don't just have a drink. You have a drink and a meal. You have something to go with it, something to complement it well. Well, you know what? I've got something for you. Hold on. Hold your hat. To pair with this wine, I made an oven roasted rosemary chicken with white rice and a green succotash. The light flavors of the dish don't overpower the wine and the little bit saltiness of the chicken goes well with the sweetness of the wine. I greatly enjoyed this meal. Well, where does this wine fall on the grape list? I am digging. The tart finish at the end, the slight acidity, and the notes of apple that I smell and taste. It's it's a really unique experience drinking this wine. I, I thoroughly enjoy the experience. So this is number six on the list. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine. Cheers. <laughs>